Okay, well, here we are on Pontoon S. Uh, we're about an hour before the start, so everyone seems to be fairly busy. Not everyone's in the arc, but a lot of boats are, are leaving this morning. Um, we've spent a lot of time filling the boat with provisions, water, checking everything. Um, and there's a bit of a wait now, really, but uh, we're going to leave about 12.30 and we're supposed to cross the line at about 1. Uh, there's Matthew preparing the, the fenders on the side and the uh, boat's looking in good shape, so it should be exciting. Right, I'll just walk you through the boat quickly. Um, at the back here, we've got Donald's quarters. Um, then here is the control panel for the electrics. We've got the reading table for the map. Um, the maps and all of the communications equipment there. Um, in the main cabin uh, we've got table dining area uh, which also doubles as a bed so that can be folded down and a couple of uh, hammocks come out from the side panels here and fit into the the fittings which hold hold them and make that. Uh, we've got plenty of fruit so uh, that should keep us going for a little while. We've got a freezer full of frozen meat and fridge full of uh, fresh food. Uh, we've got various veg supplies. Everywhere is, is packed with things. Um, for example, all the floor panels, you lift them up and there's tons of water and food everywhere. Uh, in the front here we've got one of the two heads. Um, and then there's a double cabin, well single cabin actually, um, the full cabin. Um, and uh, everything's looking good and ready to go. I oh, was getting very excited. There's a uh, there's some loud music playing at the start, and I'll walk you around the outside of the boat. Just making a little video tour. <laughs> um, up on the front deck, we've got a uh, we've got a uh, believe a Jenica, possibly a parasail laid down, which is um, going to be in use after we get start. But we're going to head off on the mainsail and and uh, regular spinnaker to to keep lots of control and make that easy. Um, looking back at the boat, it's quite a big open area on the deck, uh, but lots of things out at the moment. Um, the two poles up the master are uh, basically to hold out the Jenica. Uh, you can generally feel a sort of sense of excitement that something's about to happen and the uh, Spanish organizers are playing lots of loud music and congregating to watch what's happening. So uh, we'll see how it all goes down. <laughs> okay, just set sail, it's uh, about half twelve on the Saturday, the start is at one o'clock, so uh, we're not going to tap around too much, we're just going to go across the line and uh, start making your way. Right, we've just put the mainsail up um, and we're heading out towards the start line. The sun's come out, lots of boats are on the move. Through the playing school, all very smooth. Looking forward to it. The music's getting exciting. And uh, we finally say goodbye to Las Palmas and begin our journey to Cape Verde, which is probably going to take about seven days, six days, um, depending on the winds. We might might even be there by Friday if it's very good. Um, so uh, keep you posted. We just uh, been given the five minute warning say. So getting ready for uh, the start line. We seem to be in a good place. So we're getting quite close to the start now, so the horizon's got a fair few boats on it. Uh, it's to, uh, beginning in three minutes now. Okay, the gun has just fired. Uh, so we are now officially in the uh, in the rally. A good start. As well now, being able to figure out the wind speed, but it was supposed to be about 20 knots. It's not a belt, and this is just the beginning, so it should be quite challenging. This is the uh, two 
next to us. Hard to film. We are moving around a fair bit, but we can see the weird bits. to show the basic practical problem of trying to use a tap on a boat and uh, the effects of uh, cambering in the, in the seas. Stephen's on the back deck there um, preparing to fish. He's uh, got a book and he's going to catch us supper. So uh, I can't see what could possibly go wrong. But um, we'll have to wait and see. The uh, swell in the seas a lot less today. Last night I think we were four to five metres at points. Um, the boat was rocking around a lot, but um, today it's probably one or two metres. Um, around the front, we've got the um, the Yankee and what we've named as the Hanky sail set, uh, which are allowing us to do a dead run quite nicely. Uh, things are looking good. We've got dolphins swimming on the bow there, you can see. Oh, hello. Big pot. Uh, there's about probably 20 there. going on to night wash in about half an hour so I thought I'd uh, make a cup of tea for myself and Donald before so just uh, getting the the light on for gas Turn it on. It's been a very nice day. We had about, well, I actually caught 16 dolphins in one photograph earlier, so quite a large pod swimming on the bow again, um, which we're ready for this time with GoPro on the end of the stick. I'm about to cook dinner, so I'd just come up and see the day before 
before it finishes. I'm always helming. And uh, yeah, setting ourselves up for a nice evening. The wind's picked up a bit now. We were moving fairly slowly earlier, but um, we've now got probably about 15 knots and the boat's sailing along very happily. Quite calm seas, really. But um, I just saw something that looked like a turn, so I came out, but it's disappeared. I think uh, it's flying quite low to the sea, so it wasn't very easy to, to spot. Anyway, signing out. About seven in the morning, I've just uh, finished a watch since 3 a.m. Um, just gradually watching the sun coming up. Um, we've got a lovely pack of coloured skies. And um, yeah, looking like another nice day. Not another boat on the horizon, but we've been seeing a few on the plotters, so there are a few within sort of 15 miles or so. Well, here we are in Mandingo in uh, Lake Verde. We've just crossed the finish line. We're just, uh, we've got the sails down, which is quite exciting. We're actually going to go for everyone else, so having brought it out so the fish, the only exciting bit wasn't captured, but um, we're now gently rolling into the, the marina area. I think we're going to get some fuel first. Um, and uh, yeah, very exciting, nice morning. It's about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Ferry's just rolling out. Um, and the, uh, the geography looks fantastic. The mountains look incredible. So quite excited about going to the neighboring island tomorrow for a tour of that area where we're supposed to be doing some hiking. It's all looking good.